consider the series sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity e power n by n factorial. If the ratio test is applied to the series, which of the following inequalities result implying, impli implying that the series converges? So we know that the series converges when limit n tends to infinity modulus of a n plus 1 by a n is less than 1 according to the ratio test greater than one, the series diverges equal to one in conclusion means I need to use a different test. So we know these three conditions, right? Now uh, they're asking when the series converges. So let me apply limit n tends to infinity modulus of e power n plus one by n plus one factorial whole divided by e power n into n factorial, which is my ratio test should be less than one. So limit n tends to infinity so this can be written as e power n plus one by n plus one factorial into n factor. No need to do all this if you are very good, but I'm doing step by step. So e power n plus one by e power n is e, n factorial by n plus one factorial is n plus one. So e power n by n plus one limit n tends to infinity modulus. So it took is less than one. So D for del E should be my answer. Limited intention would be E power N by E, sorry, sir. E by N plus one should be less than one. So D for del E is my answer. E power N plus one by E power N is E. So D for del E. Under this condition, the given series converges. So far you have solved four questions. All four questions are so simple and straightforward, dead easy questions. You'll get a similar questions in exam. Again, I'm repeating, but you need to be focused. Just solve the questions with uh, serious interest. Now let me move on to question number five. 